Okay, so what we want to do is show you how to play this torque game that's going to be for homework tonight. So you start out by clicking on the link to take you to the page that has the Balancing Act program. Click on Run Now. It may take a few moments for this to load in on your computer. Okay, once it loads in, you should get a screen that looks like this. Feel free to try the intro and the balance lab, but the thing I really need you to do is the game. Okay, so you're going to go to the game settings and you're going to do level 2. I'm going to uh, keep the timer on. Please make sure you do that. And I'm going to have the sound off. Okay, you now start this out and it asks what will happen. Well, it's equal masses, but this mass is at a larger distance. So that should create a larger torque. So this should torque clockwise. And it does. I'm going to turn rulers on. It will make the rest of the game easier. Okay, I now need to balance this out. I see that this is half the mass, so it needs to be twice the distance. And you can see, balanced out. Okay, now they now want me to figure out the mass of this TV, so I use this 5 kilogram brick. I try placing it at different locations. I see that it balances when I put the 5 kilogram brick at the 2 meter mark. That's twice the distance, so the TV has to have twice the mass. So that should be 10 kilograms. Okay, they want to know what's going to happen. Well, this one's a bigger distance, so it should torque counterclockwise. And it does. Okay, they want the mass of the fire hydrant, so I take this rock. I try finding the... Ooh, and I got lucky on the first try. Okay, it's twice the distance, so the fire hydrant is half the mass. Uh, I'm sorry, the fire hydrant is double the mass. Okay, now they want us to balance this kid. Okay, he's a little bit lighter than the rock, so he needs to be a little bit further out than the rock. Okay, in order to find the exact right location for him, we need to um, do a little bit of math. So I'm going to find the torque from this will be 30. 30 times 1. So I need this to come out to be 30. And that will happen if I use uh, 1.5 times 20 should come out to be 30. And you can see it balances out great. Okay, when you're totally done, take a screenshot, send the screenshot to your teacher.